Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series, an 11 streak. Who would have thought such a magical... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I was like, who would have thought such a great opportunity? And then, yeah. Um, we, we did almost die on the first floor last time, so... I mean, that is what it is. Uh, yeah, um, not too... Gotta say, not too happy about this. Um, our streak could come to a, a very grinding... You, you keep blowing yourself up, dude. You just keep doing that. Could come to a very grinding hole. I mean, we did start with Marked, which honestly isn't terrible. I don't dislike it as much as most people do. But I, I still wouldn't say it's conducive to not getting hit, as we would want to do with this, uh, <laughs> with this character. I really don't want this to be my item forever. But at the same time, I don't really have enough health to be, uh going around getting myself hit in order to switch my items up. Uh, unfortunately, while we have started with half-decent stats, we have not started with great health. Um, having only a single... What the hell's going on with that guy? Um, having only... Oh, it's slowed from this dude, uh, from the candle. Having only a single soul heart to spare isn't great. Gotta say, isn't great. You've gotta be kidding me, right? Okay, so... Right, so something that I just have to quickly talk about... I, I definitely think there's a pretty significant bug with Tinted Eden. I don't know if it's due to modded items or what, but one thing I've noticed when playing Tinted Eden, which is good for me, but it is a bit broken, is that, um, oh god, this is a kind of annoying room. Actually, this is a near impossible room. Is, for some reason, my first item that re-rolls is, like, always, and I mean always, a planetarium item, and that should not be able to happen. Like, you shouldn't be able to roll a non-planetarium item into a planetarium item. They're supposed to stick with their pools. Man, man, who the hell cr I'm sorry, I know this is an Ipecac room, but why? This is terrible. This is such a hard room. Um, but yeah, like, it happens every time. I always end up getting a planetarium item. And you shouldn't be able to get a planetarium item without already getting one. Also, just look at the absolute chadness that we have right now going on. Uh, we unfortunately don't have flights. So that's not very good, very much use to us. Glitter bombs are potentially good. We also have a reverse temperance here. I am not going to use that because um, if you don't know what reverse temperance does, it does some bad stuff. It's going to make us eat down five pills immediately. Um, ooh, we get a bed, which actually is kind of bad. Unless we end up re-rolling our HP into no red health some, uh, somehow, but I don't think we can do that. Right. These shops are weird. I don't know why people are putting beds in shops, but there you go. But anyways, yes, let's uh, let's get on to the... Oh my god, let's get on to the, the question for today's episode. I asked... Um, I See, I, I'll say again, I sometimes may ask the same question twice because I don't always remember what I've asked. I really do apologise if that is the case. I'm going to make sure it's not as much as possible. I think last episode I asked what's your favourite fictional character... Um, so let's just ask, what's your favourite movie? What, what's your favourite movie? Mine is probably, um, at least I think it's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It kind of goes back and forward and changes quite a lot, but that's, uh, definitely up there. I'm gonna blow these up as well, just to try and get some more money. Or some more spiders, sorry. I, I forgot that's what we were getting here. Uh, we can also use some bombs on the boss itself here too. It is pinned, so we can do a bit of that. There you go. Him being feared is slightly annoying, but he is dead now. Ooh, lucky sauce is kind of good here. Let's see if we can find our secret room real quick. But yeah, I'm not as afraid of Tainted Eden as I used to be. I definitely think he's a it's a character that I used to be quite afraid of. I actually don't know where secret room is right now, because it can't have been here, because there was rocks here, right? Yeah, there was, there was rocks there. It can't have been there. It could be here. There you go. Um, unfortunately not the biggest haul, but I will say we are getting, ooh, we got a, a decent trinket out of it, which I don't actually care about the trinket itself because it'll just keep getting re-rolled, but having a trinket is now good. Um, getting that secret room's nice. Second secret room is a lot harder here. Now, to me, it's in one of three places and we have three bombs. I'm going to try the most obvious place first. I might try the other two, but I'm actually more tempted to just keep my bombs. Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep my bombs. Basically, it can be either be there, or it can be... Actually, there's a few other places. It could be 
No, it can't be there. So it's got to be... Um, it's got to be here. Or here. But I, I really wouldn't like to try with the amount of uh, stuff we currently got going on. We are going to the lamb, but of course we will go to the downpour first here. We got mum's knife for this room. Good good, good room to get mum's knife on. <laughs> That's because of our 50% chance to gain a mum item on each room uh, from our trinket. And of course, that time it was mum's knife. But we will get it, we'll get some good mum's items. I believe some, obviously, modded items do classify as mum items. So we'll get some extra out of that as well. It's just nice to have extra items going on. Doesn't really matter what they are. We could get, like, Mum's Ring. I don't know if that'll end up... If we get Mum's Ring, I don't know if it'll spawn a... Um, if it'll spawn a, a, a Soul Stone for us, like it would if you get the item. Ah, unfortunate. Had to try it, though. I like what I was trying to do there, but I, I am in just an incredibly good mood today for, for one main reason, and that reason is that... Today, at work, it was my job to break things, and... Okay, so unfortunately we've got two on-hit effects here. I'm unfortunately, for some reason, not using my mod, and I don't really know why. But I am going to buy the fanny pack nonetheless, um, and bomb this guy. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, yeah, I gotta say, um, I don't know why I'm not using it. I should be. It should be installed. I must have uninstalled it to test something and then never re-enabled it. I will try and remember to do that for next time. I've been trying to thin out my mod list. Oh, that was unfortunate. Thin out my mod list just a little bit recently. Not not in terms of um, not in terms of like just getting rid of mods to try and get rid of mods. I just mean like making sure to get rid of mods that that aren't doing anything uh, important or aren't really doing much to help. Just to try and reduce the lag. It seems to have had a very positive effect though. Ooh, a soul heart in here is nice. Um, I guess we'll use this. It'll take us to a secret room, right? Oh no, I'm stupid. I forgot we hadn't actually been to the... Whoa! Um, excuse me. That was incredibly rude. I, I actually can't believe the rudeness of this boy there. I've never had that happen with this boss. I didn't even know it could. He just straight up decided, do you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to telefrag you. No thank you with the telefrags. To be fair, maybe it's because of the room design. Uh, I don't I don't know if I've had this specific room design with this boss before. Ooh, I just screwed myself. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this, this room design's awful. I screwed myself so hard. Like, I've, I've created a situation in which I can't move. Like, I'm stuck at this side of the screen here. Well, not, not quite, but kind of. Little Chub, can you stop just doing whatever you want? Thank you. Uh, Devil Deal is, of course, not really the way to go. I think Angel Deal is going to be better for us here. Um, I would like to maybe buy Nun's Habit just to have an extra purchasable item. Do you know what? We'll just take this because it's going to give us some stats for now. Papa lovers. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, I kind of biffed it there with the, um, with the golden teleporter. Secret room. I think it's here. Let's try it out. There you go. Fortunately, not really a great room. If I get hit in here, I'd be very sad, but it's likely to happen. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, let's keep it going. But yeah, I'm in a very good mood because like at work today, I, I do a lot of sort of bug testing. And today was just the day where the developers were like, hey, just try and break everything. And I was like, I will be obliged. <laughs> totally. I will definitely try and break everything. That sounds That sounds like a lot of fun. And so I just spent the morning literally just breaking everything and i found a load of bugs it was very entertaining like one of them um i was te one of the things i was testing so basically i didn't i, I kind of made up my own list of test test cases but i kind of generally i do a lot of testing so i kind of generally know the best te things to test and one of the things i was testing was string length uh, in it basically meaning that i was testing um naming things to see if it had like a limit and a few of them didn't uh, i found and so I named uh, one of the one of the elements. I named it the entire lyrics to "Never Gonna Give You Up," and it broke so many things. It was very entertaining. <laughs> I sent it to the developer, and he was like, "Way to Rick roll me, thank you." Like no problem. Bet rewards decent enough here. Okay, so let's try and go to every single room here. We can probably teleport into the boss trap room actually, which would be just amazing because 
the more items you get as this character, the better. I'm a little sad that our stats are so, like, kind of piddly right now. Um, but it's not... They're not terrible. Yeah, they're not terrible. And honestly, little Chub. Respect for little Chub. He does quite a lot of damage. Right. Even pushing through. Obviously, we're not trying to go for Mother here, so I don't really care about uh, setting ourselves up for that. I don't really care about going to the Mirror Realm. Good. I think we're doing a decent job of not getting hit so far. I mean, we've only had two hits, and I think both of them were pretty, uh, pretty much not my fault. Or at least that's what I'm going to say. Unfortunately, no more Glitter Bombs. Okay, careful for the slick. The slippy, 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 sick. Slick? Sick? Slick. Right. Okay. So, it might teleport us into the curse room is another thing to, to sort of note. I don't know which one would take priority, but I actually don't mind if it sends us there. Because, um, if it does, we get a half price entry or half price exit, should I say. Because we're not going to have to enter then exit. We're only going to have to exit. That's not so bad. Flatstone's also, also another tier effect that's kind of weird. Like, you get that slight AoE damage, uh, but for the most part, it doesn't really do too much. Alright, let's check out what the shop's got going for us. Ooh, Tinted Rock is also really good for us. Some tax-free HP. I like it. Um, okay. I reckon in this situation, we just buy this. And do you know what? I'll buy the bombs as well. I don't know if the Keeper's Sack bonus stats will stay with us after the fact. I'm gonna guess not. Because it's attached to an item, but we can only hurt. Okay. So, Little Chub's going to do good here. Fate's Reward's going to be nice as well. Just got to be careful that he doesn't screw us over by throwing a baby directly at us. Throwing a little, little ball boy. If that, what, what, he did, what he did there is the problem. When he throws them at a kind of a slight angle... They can hit you really easily, but we've, we've, we've easily got in there. Little Chub actually did a great job there for us. Nicely enough. We get our Angel deal. Good, good. And we get um, some interesting stuff here. So, Salvation is kind of good, but it's based on, on hit. I think Pentacles is likely to be a bit better for us here. Um, I, I don't know if Pentacles ever got nerfed. Let me go and check, because it, it was really overpowered at one point. I don't know if it ever got changed. Um, right. Grabbing a collectible from their pedestals, a 50% chance to grant an item wisp um, of the aforementioned item. Okay, so it didn't, but that's good. But then again, I did have it on a really broken run, so that's fair. Um, breaking rocks is a chance to drop hearts. I think that's actually better for us right now. Uh, just because we can get some health out of that. Right, so now if we pop this, it should take us to the curse room. Or secret room first. We did get some charges, which is good. So then we can do that. Takes us to the cash room now. Okay. Right. Let's uh, let's play these a little bit and see if we can get any uh, drops. There you go. Okay. Nice. We got um, nothing particularly good here, to be honest. I will uh, take the rotten heart though. I'm not going to take any of these pills right now. I just don't think we need to. Um, we can then bail out of here and go back to that secret room. So I think next it'll take us to regular secret room. So if we can find regular secret room ahead of time, that would be better, which I think is here. There you go. Hey, a bunch of bombs. That's great. So now it should take us to the boss trap room first and then error room, after, uh, then angel room and then error room. Right? No, we've already been to the angel room, so it won't. Okay, so we do that. And this should take us to the boss trap room, in which we get an item, in which we complete this. And that'll give us plus two charges, and then we can get to the error room. Okay, this is this has worked out quite well for us here. As long as we don't get hit, that is. Obviously, if we get hit, we lose the active, so let's be careful to not get hit. We fought this guy before without getting hit. We can do it again. I think Little Chub is the, the savior of, of a fight like this. I don't know what you're doing with your babies, dude. It's, it's very, very annoying. 
Okay, there you go. So you're dead. Then we can go back over. So this, I think this should be error room next. I'm trying to think of any other room it could take us to. Okay, this was error room. So we get another item and we dip. Nice. Okay, that was that was successful. That was really good. So obviously we're not really gonna get to um utilize golden teleporter forever, because eventually we're gonna get hit. But while we while we have the opportunity to, I think trying to use it to the fullest of its abilities as we just did. I mean we got lucky in the fact that we got a uh, secret room that had a ton of batteries there. Um I shouldn't have taken that. That was a really bad idea. I didn't even mean to, to be honest. Should have left it. But yeah, if we can get situations where we have battery charges available, we can get into basically every room and then the error room. Best thing about it is really we can get to angel rooms pretty easily as long as we visit every other room prior. Look, Penny's very nice there because that can't be taken away from us, I don't think. So we're gonna be we're gonna be playing a little cautiously here, trying to not get hit for the entire floor. Obviously, that's kind of always the case with this character, but I think now we have sort of a more important reason to do so. Um, whether that'll end up coming to fruition or not, I don't really know, uh, but we shall see. The candle's actually pretty good. I like the candle quite a lot. We had it earlier, and it has returned to us. It has come back into our pocket. Uh, we get our item room here. The sponge. Okay, unfortunately, we've got this bloody room again. Sponge is decent, and we also get a tinted rock there as well. Okay, away we go. Okay, so we we got double sponges because uh, Pentacles gave us an extra sponge, uh, Lemmaget and Wisp. One good thing about Pentacles, if we can manage to keep it, is the Wisps won't get re-rolled. So we get to keep the items, which is really nice. Um, but as you can see, we got two... Um, we got two thingies. Sponges, which could be useful. I don't know. We'll see. So it's nice that we can now actually play uh, machines. Oh god, fast guy. That was very scary. Nice that we can actually play machines and stuff now. Of course, we want to be spending our money for uh, Keeper Sack here. Also, empty heart container there. Very nice. Ooh, not what I wanted to see. But is this going to give us money, which is not bad? Good, good. Ooh. Interesting. 25% chance to teleport you to an error room if no deal. Uh, okay, so that, that's actually pretty good for us there. We'll, we'll definitely take that. Of course, again, we may not end up keeping this trinket for that long. We'll see. Uh, I, I'm going to go to the cash room here just to have it as another room ticked off the list. We might end up getting hit in this room, though, I'll be honest. These enemies are very, very annoying. Oh, God, that was not so hot. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We should be able to kill these guys reasonably easily, but still... I'd be annoyed if we got hit in here. Chocolate, no thank you. Okay, so boss trap room is going to be yet another room we end up uh, teleporting into. So we, we've got that one that we that we physically cannot enter without uh, Golden Teleporter 2.0. So we kind of, basically we need a battery in the shop, which unfortunately we do not have. Uh, or a battery on the floor, which is yet to be seen. Uh, secret room wise, we should be checking for that. I don't think think it can be here, but the bomb might have just missed it, so I'll check anyways. Yeah, unfortunately not. Probably here then, right? I think I might have missed with that bomb there, I'll be honest. Try here. Hmm. I'm a little confused. Hmm. I, I don't think it can be here. Nah, I, I'm, I'm a bit confused now. As to where it could be. We've got a ton of bombs. I don't mind just throwing them at the situation and seeing what sticks. But we'll uh, we'll clear the floor first, I guess. No. Okay, so we actually got a pretty good run, and we we somehow kept pentacles. Um, but I was really enjoying um utilizing and kind of overplaying teleporter two point there. Teleporter two point is a really fun item to to play to its strengths. It very much changes the way that you uh assess each floor but we did get revelations here which obviously in itself is flight it's bloody pins that got me in itself is flight which is really good 
Um, I don't know what's going on here. Are you? Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I think that's Juno, maybe, that's, that's done that for us. Yeah, Juno's done that. That's why the enemies are slightly, uh, slightly weird colours. Okay. These guys will help us out a lot. They're going to be destroying rocks for us, which um, is good. Ooh, we, we, we kind of need to drop our trinket, maybe. We could get some wacky stuff. Actually, no, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Black art's rather nice here. Yeah. Stitches is a, is a pretty good active to get, though, because now we can get into cash rooms for free. Well, we can already get into them for free, but now we can get out of them for free. So this is interesting. When we kill an enemy, there's a chance to just turn it into our enemy, our friendly, which is pretty cool. We also got tarot cloth in there as well, apparently. Nice. I think we have a... Um, we have a Dawn Makia. This is getting very confusing. Um, this is probably a better trinket for us right now. Right, yeah, I don't know where the hell secret room is, I've got to be honest. Like, it could be here? It is there. Okay. Okay, there was a button, like, right underneath me there. That's just rude. I don't know what's mad. Even though they're different colours, I still don't know what the hell's mad and what's not. This is very confusing. But, at the same time, very strong. <laughs> we, have a, we have an absolute army behind us. An apps like look how much damage we just did to this boy. Beautiful. Mum's heal. Uh, you watch pentacles trigger. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. I think the soul here is probably better for us, right? Oh God damn it, guys. What? Why? We. Oh no! You activated the other one as well. You pricks. You pricks. Look at what you've done. You motherfuckers. We got Sacred Heart, though, on this one, so... That's not so bad. <laughs> we also got both of our key pieces here, which is... Whatever it is. But our health is pretty tragic right now. But we do have Sacred Heart... I think Sacred Heart Tech 2 is, what is, is what's going on right now. Um, yeah, Sacred Heart Tech 2. It's Jupiter that's obviously screwing us mostly. But... Sacred Heart Tech 2, as long as we can keep it for a little bit here, should keep us going, just because we have a very, very easy time of destroying enemies. Uh, Juno is unfortunately going to keep this guy around for a while, which is quite annoying. Okay, that was just wholeheartedly annoying, sir. Stop placing it on top of the spikes, you fool. Thank you. I can't even grab it. What am I doing? Okay, Pentacles has finally gone, but as you can see, we got to keep our sponge, which is white now because of, um, I don't know, reasons. Can this guy die, please? <laughs> can this guy just get gone? Oh, no. Low speed on this room. I, I, I genuinely despise these turret things. They gats to go. Got a ghost baby there as well. Thank you. Oh my god, this speed is pain. I don't... I don't know when even I'm actually falling. The, the, the trigger is so misleading. So very misleading. Right. At least we're having a mighty old time of this. Oh god damn it. Oh, we got spurred. Um, somehow. We got Spirit Sword in here as well. Goddamn, Spurred with this looks amazing. Oh, I'm, I, got, I got hit again straight away, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know what's going on now. Seems that we're, this is, this is the worst iteration of run we've had so far. Um, the whiz shot is, is really, uh, topping the cake right now for, um, our tier list of shit. Oh, I got hit again. What on earth is going on this time? We got Godhead. 
That's good. There's a soul heart up here we can go grab. We're also teeny tiny. Our active didn't seem to reroll this time, though. We did have a laser for a short time. I don't know sort of where that laser came from. I'm guessing Edgeless Cube Battery or whatever, but I don't actually know. Um, we have a bunch of salt under our feet. Whoa! That's so cool! Rainbows! <laughs> I forgot we had that. I do not like this room at all. Oh, wait! They home? The fuck? Okay, unfortunately we don't have piercing, so it's a little hard to use these effectively. With piercing, they're way, way better. But they're still very, very good as they are. Got us up a Queen of Hearts. That's pretty good for us right now. Oh, I took a broken heart by accident. God damn it. The ability for that to even happen is so annoying. Right, good, good. I think we just take both here. they are items that can be rerolled, so hell yes. And then we take a soul heart too. Yeah, we have some wacky stuff going on right now. I love the fact that they home. That's so cool. I wouldn't have expected that. Bag of crafting is... Bag of crafting, if we can keep it, is genuinely incredible, actually. Oh, wait. Okay. I was going to say, is that a lower speed, but it doesn't actually matter to us right now, does it? Okay. Bag of crafting just could be great, because that's more items that we can reroll into. The more items, the merrier. So we're going to try our best to get as many items in there as possible. So in in that spirit, let's be blowing up everything we can that could give us stuff. Um, it says there's consumables in here, but there very clearly isn't. Unless they're like underneath you. Underneath you. No. Um, strange. So apparently that guy didn't count as dead there. Secret roomy could be here. Damn it. I like the fact that because we're tiny, our crafting bag swing is just like the most pathetic little thing you've ever seen in your life. Got that. There's also another penny in here, right? Got that one. As much as I hate it, I think it's worth taking. Um, oh, it's, it's going to screw me with bag of crafting a lot. But it's, it's an item which can be rerolled into something better. So it's kind of like I can't not take it. Ugh. Right. Try and do the boss and not get hit. Uh, yeah, I'll take that instead. Why not? Oh my god, the damage that thing can put out is insane. Right, down we go. Luckily, little portal's far enough back in our familiar list to not be a huge problem. I still imagine it's going to be somewhat of a problem, though. Yeah, look, it just, it just stole that heart from me. Little portal, you are the worst. You are literally one of the worst items that exists in this planet. Everyone despises you. But yeah, the more items we can garner, the, the better each reroll is potentially going to be. It also increases the potential to get bad items too. I, I have to note that, but there's more good items than there is bad. Unfortunately, we don't have very high luck right now, so we're not getting a ton of drops. I hate these rooms. These turrets are terrible. Right, 
Right, what you got here? Iron bar, I think we just take. Uh, we got Libra right now, which is probably why our stats feel so low, but also why God Godhead is so good, so. I almost got hit there and my shield saved me, so goddamn that was lucky. Right, one moment, people. Okay, I am back and I have to admit something. I went to take a phone call, I moved into another room, I forgot I was recording, and I went and got lunch, and it's been like an hour. <laughs> I, I like didn't come back into my room that I recorded and I just blanked I just completely blanked that I was recording something still and I went and like went to the shop and made my lunch and ate my lunch and like watched a few episodes of TV and I was like oh wait oh wait I was recording a video but anyways we are back for you the time that I spent away is inconceivable I don't know is that the right word Anyways, I kind of somewhat remember what we were doing. I, I have to admit, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I kind of uh, got to admit, not really. I remember we were uh, crafting a bag of stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep doing that and making items and getting all sorts of good stuff going. This is a room that exists, isn't it? Oh my lord. <clears throat> not liking the look of this bad boy. Um... That was that was a pretty good uh, bomb. I almost called it a grenade for some reason then, but there you go. Uh, okay, so we're just going to be bagger crafting as much as possible. This run is surprisingly going, like, so much better than I thought it would be. Every, like, time I get turned into Eden, I'm always very, very afraid. But I feel like over time, I've just learned how to get better at him. And with the addition of modded items, he becomes easier. Um, or at least a bit easier. And... Maybe it's some of the rooms as well. I don't know. But anyways, I'm having a much, much easier time than I thought I would be, which is awesome for me. <laughs> um, give me that. And I think bag of crafting, at least it, it isn't helping all too much now because the items we're getting just haven't been great. But it will be helping very shortly. Uh, basically, when, when I get re-rolled, whenever that ho may be, hopefully not too soon, we'll have quite a... Yeah, um, quite a lot of extra items to reroll into. Uh, unfortunately, this reroll is absolute dong water. Um, it is unfortunately not a good reroll. Um, we seemingly do still have some um, god headshots in there for some reason or another. I think that's maybe our baby that we got going on here. Um, we also got huge rock here as well. Um, ow, got hit again. But the items we had then were not too good, so I don't really mind getting rerolled here. Um, are we going anywhere in particular here? We are going to the lamb. The llama llama. Right. <clears throat> Pascal Candle. I think, honestly, though, we got quite a decent amount of usage out of the bag of crafting. Uh, we managed to craft, what was it, like four items? Five items? And they're five items that can now be re-rolled into any old things from the treasure room pool upon entering new floors. So, very, very good for us. Health is looking okay. Damage isn't too bad. I mean, this this is actually a pretty decent... Uh, I keep I keep going to say stuff and then immediately regretting it, because I was like, this is actually a pretty decent run. I reckon we could keep this one for a while. Immediately dies again. Um, This one here is okay. This one here is definitely okay. But I'm, I do miss my bio crafting. Oh. Can someone explain to me what happened there? I just got hit by a brimstone laser and it didn't reroll me at all. I'm... Is that meant to be able to happen? <clears throat> Maybe I've got an item that's preventing me from getting hit. Like, actually. I don't think I do. Hmm. This thing's making a rather not. Hmm. Well, I think it's safe to say that this is our run. For the rest of time. I think the finger is what's triggering all these different arrow shots, you know? I think every tick of the finger's firing one of these things, look. Or, like, trying to fire one of these things. That's why they're firing so rapidly. Yeah, um, there's a half-decent chance that we... That this is just us now. We are just stuck like this. I don't know what item we have that's preventing us from being re-rolled, but... We're seemingly being prevented from being re-rolled, which is kind of okay. This run isn't great, but it does have shielding tiers, which is very, very nice. And on top of that, um, <clears throat> on top of the shield tiers, we have an okay active. Yeah, look, I'm getting, I'm getting hit, and I'm not re-rolling. I'm, I broke Tinted Eden. I don't know how, but I broke him. And yeah, we got decent stats. Yeah, this is uh, peculiar. I've never actually had this happen before, where Tinted Eden is just like, nah. No more re-rolling for me, boy. 
no more re-rolling for me. Did, did that hand just pick up another hand? I'm almost certain that's what just happened. But yeah, maybe when we get to the next floor it'll be different. I'm not sure. Really, I'm not. But we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Thank you for the health. Get some herming going on here. With the herming, we start to absolutely destroy. Wow. Another angel deal. We're getting angel deals out the wazoo right now. Um, I think circular protection is better here because we get two items. So if we do end up being able to reroll, I don't. I don't think having two circular protections actually does anything. But having two circular protections means if we do be if we do have the chance to reroll, we can reroll double angel items, which is pretty good for us. Right. Yeah. This is this is all sorts of confusing, but it's working in our favor for now. So I'm not going to complain. Especially with the herming. Oh my god, the herming makes it so very good. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Oh my lord. Circle protection is actually just really good in general as well. I feel like it... I wouldn't say it's underrated, but I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough as like a good angel deal item. My god, the amount of shots that are just coming out of us constantly. I'm just happy that we managed to get a, a setup where we have a lot of red health to play with. Makes things a lot easier for us. It's not getting re-rolled out of us constantly. But yeah, I haven't... I just want to say I haven't been hit this floor, so I don't really know. But now that I have, it seems like we, we are literally stuck like this forever, which is weird. Took a gamble on that. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, it's very, very odd that we are now in a situation where we cannot be re-rolled. If anyone can surmise as to why that may be, please do let me know, because I am currently unaware. I'm just looking through my items now and trying to think, is there any items in there that would be preventing uh, on-hit effects from triggering? But I, I, I honestly don't see any. Um, the, the only solution I can think of is just re-rolling into one of the modded items that we have has broken things. It could be that Divine, uh, d divine Vengeance... Because that's an on-hit effect. Because actually, there's actually a half-decent chance that that is what's causing it. Because Divine Vengeance makes it so that when you get um, <clears throat> when you get hit, rays of light are supposed to try, like like holy light beams are supposed to try and hit enemies that are near you, and that isn't triggering. So it's potentially that that's broken things, or it's just another item that we have that's breaking on-hit effects entirely, which is kind of crazy thinking about it. Need to be using this far more often, considering it's charge. Very, very easy for us to charge it up. It is just decimating everything when it hits. There you go. I'm just trying to speed through these rooms. What the hell are these? These teeth. They are indeed teeth. Okay. Everything's dead now. Ooh, sun card's really nice here. For the next floor. If we can keep it, that is. Actually, I was just going to say if we can keep it. We can definitely keep it because it can't be re-rolled anymore. So yeah, we managed to neuter Tainted Eden somehow. I, I really don't know how, but we did. I keep wondering what all the creeps for, but I think it's BBF plus Blood Bombs. Seemingly. There you go. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> no angel deal this time. Down we go. And yeah, we've uh, we've essentially created a safe space for ourselves. Oh, I love the doors in this area. They look so cool. Yeah, we've created ourselves a little safe space here. We cannot be re-rolled no longer. We can still take damage, so let's not just be super cavalier about this. Let's actually play this right, because I don't want to be... I don't want to die because I get too confident that I can't be re-rolled. I mean, I do have a lot of red health, so I doubt that's going to happen. But knowing me, it's certainly a possibility. I'm not really worried about grabbing drops, by the way, so I'm going to be skipping them from time to time. Like, I'm going to be skipping all these chests and stuff. Apart from if it's health, that was almost stupid. Yeah, apart from if it's health, then I'll grab the health. <clears throat> but otherwise, I do not really care. Right, let's keep it going. God damn, I've still got a blister on my finger. I think I was saying in one of the previous episodes that I uh, 
I managed to accidentally tap my uh, my finger against the like the tip of my finger against the surface of a flaming hot cast iron pan, and it has uh, like bubbled up and and uh, blistered a little bit. And it's it doesn't hurt anymore, but I can still feel the blister when I'm pressing on my keys because it's right on the key that sits on the uh, up arrow for shooting up. So whenever I shoot up, I can just feel this little bubble. Okay, apparently we just keep picking the wrong directions here, which is very annoying. Right. Let's just make our way through here. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, stop it. Stop firing. I just wanted to go around. God damn it. I just wanted to shortcut through there. Why are you going to bully me? I realized I said I was going to use the sun card on this floor, but I've decided why not keep it for healing? It's it's far more valuable when we have this much red health to keep it for healing. I'm liking uh, being able to charm everything as easily as I am right now. Beautiful. I, I like the fact that I can just do this. Sit in enemy's face and because of the uh, shielded tears that we have with this... All these arrow tears coming out. They're just blocking literally every shot the, the, the enemies can throw at me. I don't know what trinkets I have right now. I, I, I don't know if I have any smelted or anything. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. I, that, that, that just about works. Not really, but just about. <clears throat> right. Get Herman going. Wait for the arrow tears to proc. There you go. And let's, let's, let's go. I love the uh, the health bar icon for Satan. Looks so good. Right. Right, now let's see if we want to trade near this beautiful health away. Because we, we know that we're not going to lose any of these items. So we can pick them up pretty freely here. That's decent. Gotta say, none of those really take my fancy though. I think we can much more easily get through this floor without buying any of those. Lusty Blood's the only one that really sort of speaks to me, but even then it's not that good because um, not many of the rooms have tons of enemies to go at. All right, just, just barrel stuff literally every single enemy we can. I love the doors on this floor now. They look so good. So, so good. Make everything attack each other. It does confuse me a little bit though, because the doors disappear and you're like, where the hell am I going now? You gotta kinda look at the map to remember where the hell you're meant to be going while you're like in a combat room. No chests thus far. Ah! That laser hit me and it healed me. I don't know why that is, but I, I definitely accept it. <laughs> right. Did we get all we got them all there? Wow. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Stain, you got destroyed there. Keep her going, keep her going. This is a good one for Herming. Oh, there's a Skolex in here as well. Hello. I did not see you there. I love the fucking sprites on the dark path for uh, all the different sins. So good. Unique sins is such a good mod. I do wish it, it affected some more enemies. Like, obviously I wouldn't expect it to work on every single boss in the game. That'd be absurd. It'd be just so much work. But it'd be really cool if it did. <clears throat> right. You are going down. And yeah, at the minute we're kind of we're kind of in the herb stretch now, aren't we? We really don't have to worry about anything. I very highly doubt we're going to be able to lose this run now because we can't be re-rolled. We have a ton of HP at the moment. And we have a sun card in our back pocket ready to go if we end up taking a lot of damage somehow. I mean, we're, we're, we're in a situation so much so where getting hit seems to heal us like half the time. I'm not sure why that is, but it's nice. Right. Everything's dead. I don't know if I'm going the right way at all here. Seems to be going pretty decently. So uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We're here. We are here. 
And we'll pop in here. We'll pop this. And you will be annihilated. There you go. We'll just pop that. And we're good to go. Nice little victory there. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was uh, very nice. Apparently, we got perfection, so we weren't even technically being hit there. I don't know how that worked. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.